Saul was a murderer until God intervened. And then God also promised to show Saul how much he had to suffer for his name. Saul had a lot of soul searching to do, and he went away for 14 years to think and to study. When he finally re-emerged, the church did not trust him. And for good reason. When there is no trust, there is no relationship. And think what would have happened to Saul if trust had never developed. He would have been a follower of Jesus who stayed alone and did not impact the world very much. But then along came Barnabas known also as the son of encouragement. And everything changes. He built a relationship with Saul and listened to his heart. And then the trust formed. And he encouraged Saul and he encouraged the church to give him a chance. And because of Barnabas' reputation as an encourager, they accepted him. You see, encouragement makes a big difference. In the case of Saul and Barnabas, it changed the world. When the church was looking for a willing missionary to send, it was Saul and Barnabas who went. And the church grew. If we want to be a church that is growing, we need to be focused upon the relationships we have with each other. We need to trust and we need to encourage. Yes, sometimes it is hard. But it isn't meant to be easy. We do it because Jesus is our encourager. I think Barnabas made this a reality for Saul. Because it was Saul who took this to heart. And he would later write, May our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. You see, Jesus has given us eternal encouragement. This needs to be evident in how much we encourage each other.